This video is for Brian Kemp, the governor of Georgia, and it's not going to be like my usual videos with all the fancy edits and all of that. This is just me talking to you, Brian Kemp, man to man. Brian, you are a father. I know you have three daughters. I know they're all adults now, but I want you to think back to when they were babies. Now imagine if one of them was in pain and crying one night, and so you and your wife Marty took her to the hospital, and once they checked her out, she was seized on suspicion of abuse, even though you know that neither one of you had harmed a single hair on her head. And then the next day, police come to your house, arrest you for felony child abuse, and take your other two baby girls. Now, they release you on bail, but as a condition of your bond, you're not allowed to live with or even speak with your wife, Marty. Now, you know you didn't abuse your daughter. So you try to get her medical records from the hospital. But for some reason, you have to fight for months to get them from the state. And when you finally get them, you find out why. Those tests and exams that they did say that she has a chronic health condition, which explains all of her injuries. And that's when you realize that the Department of Family and Children's Services is trying to hide it and railroad you. You go to your family court hearing and the judge ignores all of that medical evidence. He ignores the medical experts you've brought to court and he chooses instead to listen to a child abuse physician who has a history of falsely accusing parents of abuse. Then he orders non-reunification and has all three of your daughters placed for adoption. Your children have been taken from you for good and you await formal charges for abuse that never happened. Those charges never come because the state knows damn well you didn't do anything wrong. So thanks to your bond conditions, you are estranged from Marty indefinitely. And to add insult to injury, you have to pay thousands of dollars a month in child support to the state to support your own children who you'll probably never see again. How would you imagine that would feel? How would you imagine Marty feels without her husband or children? How do you suppose your baby girls would feel without their parents possibly separated from each other, living with strangers with no hope to see you again, and suffering from an illness that isn't even being acknowledged, much less treated? Well, you don't have to imagine it. You just have to ask the dozens and possibly hundreds of completely innocent families who are facing exactly this scenario in your state under your watch. Parents who took their children to the hospital, had them seized by defects with no evidence of abuse, had their kids' chronic health conditions ignored or explained away at every step, and are facing losing everything that matters to them. We've uncovered a few of these families who were brave enough to come forward. We've gone public with their stories, and many more are coming now to us to tell us about the nightmare that your defects is putting them through. They are horrified. They feel powerless. They're scared to death that they'll never see each other again. The parents are worried that their kids will end up missing, like the nearly 2,000 foster children who've gone missing in your state. And they won't even know because they have no contact with them. These families are being torn apart for no good reason. Even if they're reunited, they will suffer the trauma of what they were put through for the rest of their lives. And if they're not reunited, it will be one of the greatest travesties that could ever happen to them. Brian, you have the power to put an end to all of this. I am calling for you to meet with me, my team at You Are The Power, and these families that your government is tearing apart to discuss their cases, the problems with your system that are causing this to happen, and a plan of action to fix this system and end the nightmare these families are being put through for good. And I'm going to ask everyone who is watching this video to share it, to tag you in the replies, to comment and reply on all of your posts, and to join me in calling for you to meet with us. I'm also going to ask them to email you and tell you the same thing by going to youarethepower.net slash GA. We've got everything they need there to email you and tell you to meet with us. Then I'm going to ask them to come back here to social media and tag you and reply to your posts and stay on you until you meet with us and work with us to end what DFAX is doing under your watch. And look, man, I don't think for a second that you want families like this to suffer under your watch. But thankfully, they don't have to. With your help, we can save these families and many others. We can save thousands of innocent children and parents in Georgia. And not only that, we can create a standard for reform that can be implemented in every other state and save millions more. You can be known as the guy who said, this suffering ends with me and end it for good. Or you can let this suffering continue. Now, I hope you choose to help. Either way, I'm going to stay on you until you meet with us. And I invite everyone to join me in staying on you too. I look forward to hearing from you.